What's up everybody, it's Firemace here and welcome back to some more surviving Mars. So yeah, everything is running smoothly still. Um, we are running low on uh, polymer but we have a rocket incoming that's going to deliver some more resources. We are also running really low on cash, but that is another problem that we're having. Um, so I think the rocket that's going to be coming now, the one that's going to, I'm going to land it on the pad over here, and we will put that on automated so that it just extracts the uh, rare metals or exports the rare metals for money. We really need cash. Um, and I think what we also need to do is, is we need to start looking at getting uh, some people on Mars. I think it's time to start colonizing this bad boy. We've been working really hard at it. So what we're going to focus on today is just we're going to focus on obviously getting some money flowing in. And um, we're going to focus on getting our fir first dome constructed and getting people in here to come and work here. So to do that, obviously one of the first things that we need to do is oxygen. We don't have any oxygen production running at the moment, so I want to start producing oxygen. I think what I am going to do is, is I'm going to use this area over here for oxygen production. And then that way we can get the people here sooner. I'm also going to build our first dome in this area over here. Um, and then I want to look at start I want to get some automated polymer factories running as well so that we can produce polymer on our own. Um, the power situation at night is minus 70 but we have a lot of power stored up. During the day we are producing huge amounts of power so for now power is not an issue. Water is not an issue. Fuel currently is not an issue. So it's just money, uh, polymer and oxygen. So basically resources and oxygen is the the real issue that we're having. So in order to get oxygen production up and running, we're going to need moxies. Uh, they require metals to build. We have a lot of metal currently, so that shouldn't be a problem to get this going. Um, we're going to twist it like that. And then we're going to start putting down some moxies for oxygen production get this up and running all right so that's going to be how much that's three seven of those guys to produce oxygen they should produce <coughs> huge amount huge amounts of oxygen um we can also start to build the better fuel ones i do believe oh no we cannot we still need water cons conservation systems to do that can we even build fuel refineries? No, we cannot. Right. Feels bad, man. But we can build oxygen creation. We have, like I said, water is running well. We are, we're producing a lot of water. We're storing some as well. Not huge storage capacity. We don't have the big tanks yet, but that alone produces massive amounts of water, and that is really all we need. <coughs> I also want to build. Um, the oh the rockets here. I also want to build the automated. Um, what's it called? Should be in here. The ultimate. Where is it? There should be one that converts a rock. This is concrete. There we go, the ultimate waste rocket to rare metals converter. Funding received. So this consumes a lot of uh, power, uh, but that's not a problem. But it does produce us 10, um, an extra 10 rare metals for exportation so that we can continue to make money. So I'm going to fit this guy right in there, like so. <coughs> I'm going to just build one for now. And then I am going to connect it to power. 
There we go. The power. And that should sort that part out for us as well. Alright, sweet. Then we need to build some oxygen tanks. Store our oxygen in. <coughs> These ones we will put in like this. One, two. There we go. That should be more than enough. But once again, it just takes metal to build it. So that should store us nice amounts of oxygen. We are producing, or will be producing, a lot of oxygen as well. <coughs> the base production for this, I think, is six. Yeah. So six oxygen will be produced. And obviously they can be upgraded upgraded later as well to produce even more. This guy's construction is taking place. This one we are going to place on automated. So basically what will happen. Uh, the rocket will repeatedly travel to earth and back. It will land at the same spot and it won't carry any imports or passengers from earth. The rocket will launch to earth when the cargo hold is full and the rocket is refueled. <coughs> so that should create a steady amount of income for us as well from our um, rare metals that we're mining uh, I did build another metal extractor over here with a, a sterling generator so it's powered it is in the range, in the range of a drone hub which is fine so metal is being produced there. I also finished the research on the shuttle hubs. So that's up and running. We have three of them. Shuttle hubs help to keep an even distribution of resources, which is obviously something that we do require. And now we can start looking at a dome. So we have a self-sufficient dome, but I think the real guy that we want to build straight up is the mega dome. A lot of space already inside that one. Um, we can have a lot of what all the things that we need in there. And it should theoretically fit nicely in our designated area over here. And it's in range of a research site. Now, I want to say that if we do construct it over here, it's in the range of a bunch of research sites that will actually boost the research for this facility. Screw it, we're just going to place that guy down, right there. Buildings that are not working is oxygen storage. So we need to, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. We need to get the pipes set up over here. Where's uh, that pipe loop? Just like that. So that's going to sort out the oxygen part. Now we can, while we're at it, close the loop over here. there for now that closes that that closes that loop over there And then that's going to cause a disconnect that I'm not sure how I'm going to fix with my pipes. Alright, we'll make, we'll make a plan to get the piping thing sorted over there. Uh, there'll be pipes that run to here. I think the easiest way is just going to 
V to do that. Connect the dome to oxygen. Run pipes. Run pipes, run pipes. Over here we're going to have to do the same thing. Actually, you know what? We don't have to do that. Because the connection is already done on the other side. So we all have pipes running like so. And then... Connect those up as well. And then finally... Over here as well, we will connect the piping to the dome. Alright. So that sorts out oxygen supply. Let's sort out the power supply to the dome. It will run in the same fashion. Like that. And then over here. Have same setup going, and over here we will have the same thing. So that this time is connected to power, and it is sorted. Everything is running. Uh, over here, I want to look at. That's the wrong one. In automated electronics, automated polymer factories. Let's get a bunch of them down in this area so that we can start to get polymer going. Um, we don't have a lot of money, but I feel like it might be necessary to bring down one more, one more rocket at least, that is going to carry, we'll have 50, uh, 50, and then we'll fill it up with polymer. And this should be the last polymer <coughs> that we ever bring down. Alright, so we've got a couple of constructions up and running. We're going to speed up time to get this going faster. This thing is upgraded and amplified. It's running at max. Upgraded and amplified running at max. So everything is running at max that can be. These ones, no upgrades yet. This one I upgraded it because it uses less less power then. Um, that's fine. These don't get upgrades, they're fine like that. Uh, these ones, no upgrade available for them yet, but they are producing oxygen. And we are also finally starting to store some oxygen up. So overall not bad. We have idle extractors. What's the problem? No deposit. Oh, so this one has run out of metal, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so that can be deconstructed then. Um, let's see, is there any metals within range? Only the one... Oof. That's a serious problem. We only have this in range and there's something built on it already. Um... We can build one over here, obviously. Alright, let's do that. We'll do an automated metal extractor in this area. We will then do one universal depot. That area. We will also then do... What's this? Metals depots. One, two, three, four, five, six, just like that. We will get a RC commander 
into this area over here. Need power here, obviously. So we'll place an advanced turtling generator there. That should be fine. The drones will collect the metal from these areas. So the desired amount on those are zero. The desired amount for these ones is three. And the drones will ensure that they are always ready to rock and roll. So this one we're gonna land over here. We want high priority on the dome. So these guys are now producing polymer. It's 5.4 polymer per cell, so we should be getting a lot of polymer from our polymer factories from now on. The generator here has been constructed. We're just waiting for... That to finish, put a higher priority on that. It's almost done. Requires a little bit of polymer and a little bit of metal, but the drones are flying that over. So that is good. This guy is going strong. It'll be ready soon. Um, oh yeah, I did forget to show you guys. Uh, I also started now constructing a ramp to get up here. Uh, unfortunately, it does seem like I took the RC commander away from here, so we'll just send one back that way. Shouldn't be the same one. There we go. Transportation drones have... Yeah, that's fine. So we don't care about that. We don't care about that. Alright, so everything is fine. So this guy is producing um, 20 of the rare metals, that's good. I'll put a high priority on that guy so that he's always up and running. This guy is producing 8.5 per cell, so that's good. Over here, this guy is producing 22.5 per cell, that's really good. And this guy is finally working. Get it up and going, upgrade it as well, to make sure that we get as much metal out of that guy as possible. That should keep us good to go on metals, because we are starting to drop to the low 100s on that guy. So yeah, I want to get this dome up and going, and then I want to get some living quarters set up, and I would like to get... Uh, a research labs set up in here get some of the factories set them. up here and get some people in here man get some people living here that's what we need we need some people living here <coughs> we're gonna get a real big resource bonus 10 percent 10 20 percent from that one 15 percent from that one and Another 10% from that one. That's a big, that's, this is huge for us. I think that was really good. Let's get this guy on automated as well. What's the problem here? It is on automated. Oh, it's still got polymer in its inventory. Still being unloaded. All right. <clears throat> Why is this building not working? Alright, obviously, first of all, these things must never shut down, they must run 24-7. So that I can get as much polymer as I possibly can. This thing is running 24-7 already, so that's fine. Dome construction 
still going. We need a little bit more metal, a little bit more concrete. But we have more than enough resources to construct this dome. And for now, it, we will not really need another dome for a while. Let's go into this. Unfortunately, I cannot construct the mega apartment just yet. So I will leave the spire open in the center of this building. But we can have some research labs and some factories and stuff around there. And then some housing and farming around the outer edges. We just need this thing to get done. That's all. Just really need it to get done. And then hopefully with the export of the heavy metals, we'll start to make some decent cash. We really need to make some decent cash. We're running really low on money. Ramp's going well. We already finished the ramp that runs down here. So our guys are on auto resource gathering, which is good. And we also have them on auto scanning of anomalies, which is good. And I will construct a ramp to get up there just as soon as I can. Just as soon as they finish the other ramp, we will construct the ramp that can go up that hill over there. The house Funding is coming along. Alright, so we got 750 million for our one rock. That's good. No, that's just for the one. The other one is about to arrive. So they'll tra travel back and forth and they'll export these rare metals. So that we can make some cash, man. Some cash. It's all about that money. So that we can continue to colonize Mars. Money to do that. So overall everything is still going well, it's just this guy's not getting finished man, not getting finished. I have huge amounts of concrete, why is it taking so long? Look at all the concrete over there, look at it, huge amounts of concrete, because apparently this doesn't reach. But this should be working on the construction, oh no that's not one of them, is it? This guy? Huh? What's going on here? This. Ooh. Funding received. So this is working on the construction for this dome, but that doesn't hit the concrete deposit over there. I think that's why it's taking so long. Another 750 million for exporting of the rare metal. So we've got, if it's 750 million for 30, we've got a lot of cash just lying on the surface of Marshall for the moment. This guy. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. I cannot actually select the... Oh, there we go. So this is gonna run out soon. Do we have another one in the area? No. We do not have another one in the area. Hmm. That's really bad. At least from this alone we should be able to make... <coughs> a lot of money. Oh my word, the my dome is finished. Me. The dome is finished. Construct a mega dome, we get 2,500. Oh, that's 2,500 research points that we just got for that. Yep, we. What's this? Deep water extraction physics. Nobody cares about that right now. Um. Alright. We have a breakthrough as well that we can research that we need to get to. Alright. Let's start setting research this bad complete. boy up. Anomaly analyzed. Alright, so dome buildings first of all. Dome buildings. Alright, so and uh, can't build apartments yet. I can't build the university yet. Uh, yeah, alright. 
So we need to build housing there. Uh, give me... Yeah, we need to build housing. But there's a mod that I installed for housing that I'm not seeing. So that's a problem. I need to sort that out. Alright, welcome back guys. I'm sorry about uh, that. But I had to quickly go and sort the living quarters mod out. So... We now have these glass houses. They only take four people. Uh, whereas the living complex obviously houses four but you'll see the living complex takes up a lot of space and the glass house only takes up one slot in the dome so I can fit a lot of them in here and then hopefully have the people you know living in in these glass houses they're also much prettier so uh, I kind of like them um, so they're quite expensive, they cost two polymer to make, but I mean we are now producing polymer ourselves, so it shouldn't be a problem to do that. The one thing that I want to do to make sure that they always have the resources that they require, is we have a drone hub over here, so what I want to do is, is I just want to build one of these large depots uh, right here that way they'll always have resources in here which is going to be important obviously so we'll put a high priority on this guy get that up and running and then let's start by getting some houses down first of all all right so we'll start building these glass houses um i want to designate like a quarter a specific quarter of the dome to housing and I obviously want to leave a space open in case we want to expand with another dome which will be probably in this area over here so let's um, yeah, let's leave this quarter open over here so we will not build anything there what we will do is, is we will start to get these Houses down a whole bunch of them. Right, so that's a bunch. This will be the area where the where the colonists live. Get the housing down. Alright, so we built a bunch of resources houses. Resources are low. Uh, resources are low. Alright, so we built a bunch of houses in here. Um, I wish I could count them. But that would be helpful if I could. I don't suppose if I click on this it'll tell me how many of these buildings I have. It does not. Alright, let's get them going. And then we can see how many people we can actually house in this dome now. Um, like I said, we were, are going to need Reason some facilities complete. as well, so let's get some... Okay, so this is the automatic machine parts, automatic electronics factory. So we'll get one of each Sector down scanned. Anomaly found. of these guys as well. Like that. Um, then a research center, research lab, we definitely want some research labs here. We can have three of them actually in this area, right there. Um, and then what we'll do is we make it look pretty. We'll have a statue right there in the middle, just like that. Um, we need to produce food. Let's get in here. We already have the ranch unlocked, so let's get a ranch down in the quadrant over there. And then we'll fit some of these, we'll fit three of these farms down here. Funding as well. received. Um, and then we'll place another statue in the center there. Or how about a small garden this time? Or garden just to have it look nice and sexy 
update as well. So obviously, this is going Anomaly to be taking analyzed. huge amounts of resources from us. But that's fine. We've just we... confirmed the location of a metal-rich deposit. A drilling accident turned to our advantage. Okay, we've, we've discovered a metal deposit. There's more to the barren environs of the Red Planet. Right, we also have new research unlocked. So let's get to going down these trees. So, we're almost ready to bring people down. We have some living quarters already. Uh, where did we discover this metal deposit? Let's just see, is it close to us? No, not. All the way down there. <coughs> Alright, we're not going to be concerned about that metal deposit for now. We want to get this dome up and running as soon as possible. So, so far we can house... 24 people just with the housing that we have so far. We might be able to do more of those houses in this area as well. We'll just see how many people we can have living in this dome with this amount of housing that we currently have. Um, they still need some things. Um, we need... Definitely... A grocer, so that they can buy their food. Uh, we'll have an art store. That's a small one. We don't need a small one. We we'll want the art store in here as well, like that. And then a security station, I suppose, would be the other one. And then we'll have a another small thingy center just like that all right so it's coming along nicely it's coming along nicely the big dome is really a big advantage to us it's fine we're running low on metals again drone heavy load over here i understand that's fine Let's go to resupply. Let's see if I do a supply pod that brings only drones. How much is that going to cost me? Not too much. So uh, I think we'll do we'll do two of those. A supply pod with drones. There we go. Let's get that going as well. Alright, so PM power search is becoming dangerous, but we're still producing huge amounts of electricity during the day. And I do believe that we've unlocked these. So we'll start to build these ones in these two sectors over here. They store even more power. So, so far so good, it's not looking bad so far. Research complete. Oh, it's not looking bad so far. Waiting for everything to get finished. That's going to take a while. Um, let's see. What else do we have in here? Uh, obviously, we're going to need a nursery. So we can get a nursery done here. Wait. I want one of... I want this there. And I want this there. There we go. Then we can salvage this. And we can salvage this. Dome on high maintenance, so that's fine. 
O2 looking good, power during the day looking real good, water is fine. But so far so good. Just need these buildings to finish their construction. Oh yeah, fine. We were going to do a nursery. One nursery. Uh, you know what, let's place two nurseries. Funding let's, received. Let's see the lines. Two nurseries and one playground. Like that. And then you can have a, another small garden in the center. Then pull this school to it. Right there, where we have our school. So that sorts out everything in that screen. And I want to place the space bar next to a school. Because I don't want to make it seem like they're incentivizing see. children to drink. Alright, so we'll place a space bar over there. We have a security station already. Alright, so let's have... Let's get the diner. over here then to another statue in the center just like that then back to this we need let's just place one electronic store for now Right there, and we'll leave those two spots open for now. Over here, let's place the open air gym like that. And then we can have the casino complex over there like that. Alright. I'm going to leave that area at the back open for more housing. Because it does seem like it's not going to build these ones. Now I wonder if it's not building it because it's blocked. It's not taking any resources there, yeah, it's blocked. So they can't get to it to build those ones. Alright, so how do I solve this problem? Because that's obviously a lot of housing that's going lost now. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. If I delete this one house here, if I recover that one, I will gain those two. So I lose four. I gain four basically. And if I delete this one. I gain those two, which once again gives me four more people living in here. Really 
really weird that it's doing that. It's very frustrating as well. Okay, but we can already house 84 people just with what we've built so far. Anomaly analyzed. Well, let's get them construct the ones that I can see now. But it still means that basically these three will not... Oh, wait, 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 wait. They're constructing them. The problem is, is that they still won't be able to reach that. I don't want to have a situation where people cannot reach the housing that I've built. I think there's a better solution to this is to plan it properly from the start. I think what we're going to do is I'm going to go into this. I'm going to place these two houses back. All right. And then what we're going to do is just from this side, basically. Funding received. We're going to deconstruct this house and we're going to deconstruct this one and we're going to deconstruct this one as well then from this side it's the same thing we deconstruct this one we deconstruct that one and we deconstruct that one and from this side it's the same, we deconstruct, deconstruct, deconstruct. That means that all available houses should now be reachable by the drones and by people. Resources are low. Okay, so out of the necessity, we are going to have to send another cargo rocket. One that's, let's say, a hundred of these. How much of this can I fit there? I would like to get 50 at least. That's not necessary. Do that. Like that. Alright, let's launch that guy. Because I think the solution Funding there uh, is to do garden. There are three squares, but they can be walked through. That will obviously improve the comfort of the people that are living in these glass houses. <laughs> really need this to have Sector scan. very high priority right now. Everything is pretty much built. It's 
so we're gonna throw, grow leafy crops in this one microgreens in that one and I think we'll have seed that one over here I think we're gonna do turkeys in the ranch we can go to earth now Oh, no, we can. We need to wait for the supply rocket to arrive and send it back, then we can bring colonists. So I think that is what I'm going to do. I'll bring you guys back when we're ready to bring the colonists to Earth. Alright, I'll see you guys then. Alright, welcome back ladies and gentlemen. It is happening. We have our passenger rocket on the way. It is 10% towards Mars, it is coming, it will be here soon, and I cannot wait. We are about to have our first people in our colony on Mars. I did completely finish getting out the dome. Um, it's pretty much self-sufficient, self-sustained. We have food and everything in here, all of the comforts that they need. We have nursery, schools, gyms, bars casinos everything set up and ready to rock and roll we have space currently for 168 people um eventually when the research is done i can build that spire in the center which will house another 96 so in this dome alone we will have uh, the capability to house over 200 people um i don't know if this can Sector actually stand. handle this Funding received. This can only have eight visitors at a time. So I think what we might have to do is build another one of those. At least. So we'll have resources another. Resources are low. Yeah, I know. I know the resources are low. That's it's because I've been using them. So I think what we'll do is is we'll have another grocer right there. Um, another art store at the back and then one more electronic store in the front here and then the center of that we will have a garden and that so that should be fine so everything is fine they will bring some food with them when they come this is it they'll bring 120 food to start with there's only 12 of them coming. I cannot bring more people to Mars unless I survive the whole soul, 12 souls thing. So this thing has a problem. It says the waste rock storage is full. All right. We will have this guy. We will have this guy do this. Waste rock. Here. Um, and, oh, there you are. Passengers are here. The waste rock can wait for now. They're coming in. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to have people on Mars. There she goes. Look at them. Look at them running in here. Colonists have arrived. Crop 12 new reported. people. Yeah, crop failure. Whatever. They are running to the dome. They are running to the dome. Damn, the dome's far away from the landing pad. Although they're quite fast. There they go. Our new colonists have arrived. I brought only scientists and botanists. So let's see. They'll. Everybody's going to find a little house. This has got a heavy drone load on it. That's fine. I don't care. There's food there. This one still needs food, but we have 12 Full people living here. hope and determination. The first founders have set foot on the red planet. So we have to wait 10 Martian days before we can have more people come. But if they have a baby within those first 10 days, then it will automatically allow us to import more people to Mars. 
But yeah, we have people on Mars, ladies and gentlemen. People are on Mars. And hopefully they'll start to fill these buildings. So we have a botanist guy working in there. Nobody in those ones. We have botanist people working in there. So food is being produced by our Martian friends. Nobody's in here, nobody's in there. So we don't have any people working in there. Feels bad, man. Nobody's working the grocers. Oh, we got one guy working the grocer. There we go. One guy working the grocer. But unfortunately, we don't have any... Milestone achieved. The door towards the stars. For the first time, a human has been born on Mars. Ladies and gentlemen, we have it's done truly it. It's a unique miracle. We have a baby born on Mars. The first Martian-born person is in our colony. We can now have additional colonists arrive from Earth. First Martian born, 500. There we go. Five free supply pods. What's this? Alright, I don't know. We get five free supply pods. I don't know what we're going to put in those supply pods just yet, so we'll we'll keep them for now. Um, we don't have a rocket that we can send, so that's fine. We do need more people, obviously. But we have 13 people living here now, and one of them was born here. It's the circle of life. And that's going to be it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for coming out and hanging out with me. If you enjoyed this video, please remember, drop a thumbs up on it. It really helps my channel out a lot. If you're new and you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And then I'll see you all in my next video. Cheers.